वंदे गोधुम नित्यम गुरु शंकर यमाश्रित वक्रोपी चंद्र सर्वत्र वंद्यते अज्ञानतिरांदशलाक चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम लव इज दि स्वीट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ लाइफ इट इज दि सुप्रीम कंटेंट ऑफ लाइफ लव इज दि फोर्स ऑफ लाइफ पावरफुल एंड सब्लाइन दि फ्लावर ऑफ लाइफ ब्लूम्स इन लव and radiates love all around life expresses itself through love this stream of life is a wave on the ocean of love life is expressed in the waves of love and the ocean of love flows in the waves of life what a comfort love brings to the heart the heart tickles with the thought of love and waves of life begin to roll on the ocean of love every wave of life is full with the ocean of love yes such a life is worth living every wave of life full with the ocean of love such a life is life such a life is worth living and who lives such a life of all love of bliss of power and of peace the fortunate ones and the fortune is open to all to design their destiny and begin to live life in all love and joy the fortunate one uses the instrument of deep meditation and probes deep into his heart then the waves of love gain the depth of the ocean and the ocean of love fills the heart and thrills every particle of being every wave of life then flows in the fullness of love in the fullness of divine glory in the fullness of grace in bliss and peace the stream of life then flows on the tidal waves of bliss and the ocean of love permeates every wave of life love is highly sensitive it is the most delicate power of life and life is the most dynamic expression of love love is delicate and at the same time it is most vital and strong a tiny tender wave of love rocks the boat of life love takes life from the pangs of separation to the bliss of eternal union from the insurmountable pangs of separation to the unlimited joy of eternal union swings a tiny tender wave of love what a miracle god has created in love let us live it let us be in love and live in love with one another and say to ourselves quietly let thy will be done a soft impulse of love is the soul life of a melting heart a tiny hope of love brings the light of dawn to the darkness of a lengthy night and love even at the twinkling of the faintest star keeps the light at the altar shining and in that faintest light of love some day the beloved finds his way and creeps on in silence in quietness drawn by the tiny tiny love which kept the door open in the hope of fulfillment in the hope of fulfillment that some day and some time the darkness of the night would give way to the brightness of the midday sun in a clear sky the catch of love do tender is firm and strong the glory of tenderness and strength is the glory of love one wants to remain tender in the strength of love the strength of love makes one tender and firm makes one weak in wrong 
and powerful in right, brings forgiveness in authority and grace in all fields of life. And this is the destiny of the fortunate. Love is the fortune of the fortunate. Abundance of love is the goal of all destiny. Fortunate are those whose hearts flows in love. A loving heart, a heart full of love is the precious essence of human life and that when it flows in unbounded tidal waves of bliss, it is the glory of the Supreme, the blessing of Mother Divine and the grace of God. A wave of love flows over the whole range of life. It sweeps over the whole range of creation. The power of love pilot the plane of life here, there and everywhere. Love takes life from home to hill, from hill to hill, from home to home. Love is desperately seeking. It keeps the path alive and warms the goal. The silent force of love knows no barrier. It takes the life from the ruggedness of mountains to the roughness of the sea and there in silence of wilderness and even so in the noisy horizon of the sea, the vast expansion of the unbounded love from a distance brings a breeze cool and fresh to cool the heart and soothe the pangs of separation. The delicate and kind hand of love takes life from the prick of thorns to the softness and tenderness of a rose. On the softness of the cradle of love, the life swings from the loneliness of a desperate quest to the rich plains of fulfillment. A tender spark of love lights the light in loneliness. It burns alive the pangs of the bygone past and spreads the light of hope and joy and fulfillment. And a tiny spark of love does it. Love is the most precious gift of God to us. Let us use it for all good. Let our life be full with love. Let us love and be loving and spread grace around us. Let not the din of the world and the thick and thin of life disturb the fullness of love in us. Let us be full of grace and full of light. And in the fullness of love, let us be up and awake to serve the will of God and rise to be of real service to ourselves and to our fellow men. Let the glory of the divine dawn in love. Let the bliss of the divine effulgence and the light of love permeate our life and transform our life to the eternal life of the Divine Being. Let love in us spring as the light of the Divine, for the Divine is all love in its essential nature, and love is all Divine in its truthful expression. The Divine is fullness of love, and love is fullness of the Divine. Love is the light of divinity. It presents the divine in man. Love is the divine life in man. Love in our hearts is the divine in heaven. The divinity of the heaven dwells in our hearts as love. Love in the heart of man is the shrine of God on earth. Blessed are those who carry the shrine of God in fullness of love in their hearts. And when the drops of love trickle down the melting heart, the angels in heaven run down to count and keep a record. No drop of precious love is ever wasted. For every drop of love flows the unbounded ocean of bliss, and the ocean of bliss unfolds the love divine and fills the heart. Then the eyes lift to God, 
and God raises his arms and extends his heart and then the reality dawns. The stream of man's love finds the ocean of God's love and flows into it. And this is the glory of love. The man and God unite in the eternal ocean of love. Let us bring to our life the glory of this love which brings the heavens in life on earth. Love of God, someone said, is an abstract concept. Yes, it is abstract. It takes the experience of life to make it concrete. Love of God is abstract in its infancy. But let us not forget that it begins to be concrete from the very beginning of life and imperceptibly grows and grows to become concrete and overtakes our life in full. In its most infant state, love finds an expression on the lap of mother, in the sweetness of the mother's eye. It grows in toys and play fields, in the sweetness of friends and folks of society, it grows in the sweetness of husband and wife. With age and experience, the tree of love grows. It grows with the growth of life and evolution and finds its fulfillment in the eternal love of the omnipresent God, which fills the heart and overthrows the darkness of ignorance. And then, in the illumination of universal love, the abstract love of God finds concrete expression in everything. All becomes divine radiance of eternal love. Life finds its meaning in the living presence of God. Every phase of life, then saturated with love, breeds the living presence of God. Here, there, and everywhere, in this, that, and everything, nothing but love and living presence of God. This is how, gradually, the personal love naturally moves on to gain the status of universal love. And universal love moves on to find its expression in personal love. There is time in life for everything. Life is progressive on the steps of love and there is a time significant for every step in love. Every plane of love brings fulfillment to the corresponding plane of evolution. All love, in every phase of every drop of it, is significant to life. Love is the supreme blessing of life. The sun shines, and it shines forever in fullness. It may be that the clouds are gathering. Let them come and go. They go as they come. Take no notice of their coming. You go your way. Make your way through the clouds if they lie on the way. Do not try to dispel them. Do not be held by them. They will go the way they have come. They are never found stationary. But if you like to pause to see them wither away, Wait for a while, the wind is blowing anyway. It is to clear the clouds from your way. Just wait to see the cloud wither away, and the sun, the same old sun of love, will shine again in fullness of its glory. When night comes, all appears to be dark. But darkness does not last. The light of the dawn comes on and spreads the love and charm of life. So we shall not mind if the darkness of the night sets in for a while. For the light of love can, for certain, not be gone forever. So we live in love, and we wait in love to grow in life and gain fulfillment in love eternal. Love as love is universal. Personal love is concentrated universal love. Ah, 
My heart flows when I say personal love is concentrated universal love. The ocean of universal love flows in the stream of individual love. What a blessing in life. The heart in whom the universal consciousness has dawned is able to have the force of the unbounded ocean of universal love even in the stream of personal love. Those who are restricted in their ability to love, those whose love flows only in restricted channels of isolated objects or individuals, those who can only like this or that, those who have no awareness of universal consciousness in their hearts, are like small ponds where the love can flow only as ripples and not as waves of the sea. Such is the love of most of us. We love today and rise to fight tomorrow. Let us not bring shame to love. Let us rise to love forever more and more. When an ocean flows in love, it flows in peace within. When a shallow pond moves to rise high in waves of the ocean, it only stirs the mud at the bottom and the whole serenity of the pond is spoiled. When a heart, shallow as a pond, seeks to rise high in waves of love, it creates a muddle and brings out the mud that was so far gracefully hidden underneath. To enjoy the ocean of love, we have to improve the magnitude of our hearts and gain the depth of an ocean, unfathomable and full. Let us give the status of an ocean to our heart before we let loose our love to be tossed about by the blowing winds. And having gained the status of the deep, let us open the heart for the ocean of love to flow and let it flow in fullness. The mighty waves of love will rise in grace and hail the glory of the multiple creation with the bliss of the unity and peace within. And how do we improve the depth of our heart? By probing deep into the purity of our being, by exploring the finer regions of the impulse of love that murmurs in the silent chamber of our heart, by diving deep into the stillness of the unbounded, unfathomable ocean of love present within our hearts, by a simple technique of self-exploration, or by what is commonly known as the transcendental deep meditation, it is easy for every one of us to fathom the unfathomable magnitude of the ocean of love present within and forever enjoy the fullness of heart in the fullness of life. Love is fullness. It is all embracing. Love binds. It is the unifying force of life. It strengthens unity. It binds yet binds in freedom. It holds together the bonds of freedom. It knows no discord. This unity is foreign to love. Discord is foreign to love. This harmony is foreign to love. Love is purity. Love is innocence. Love is fullness, oneness and bliss. It brings fulfillment. Love unifies the scattered ends of life and brings them all together into an integrated whole. Love is the symbol of life. Lack of love denotes lack of life content. And the show of love without genuine love is a shame to life. Simple innocent, natural, 
normal state of love without inhibitions is a divine quality which is the natural quality of graceful life. The divine grace lies in the fullness of innocent love. And in the abundance of love lies the love of God and love of God's creation. And when the lover of life finds himself in the unbounded love of cosmic consciousness, he whispers to his God within himself, My Lord, in the temple of my heart, on the altar of thy glory, my God, my love is full and thy love is treasured safely. My love for thee is safe and full in freshness and purity at the glory of thy altar. My Lord, thy Lordship is secured in the shrine of my heart, and when my love flows, it spreads the glory in thy creation. In love of God, the lover of life finds expression of the inexpressible. Cosmic life gains expression in his activity. The thought of cosmic life is materialized in the process of thinking. His eyes behold the purpose of creation. His ears hear the music of cosmic life. His hands hold on to cosmic intentions. His feet set the cosmic life in motion. He walks on earth, yet walks in the destiny of heaven. Angels enjoy his being on earth. This is the glory of unity, born of love. Let us be in love with all around us. Let us be in love. Let us in love resolve to be in love. For love is life. And certainly we do not want to step out of life. So let us in love resolve to remain in love and let us never step out of the boundaries of lovingness. For in love dwells the power of creation, wisdom of life and strength of all good. Certainly our life has to be all in love. The thread of love has woven the garment of our life. We shall keep it spotlessly clean and pure. Life is a sacred gift of God to us in love. We shall not defy love and shall not spoil this sacred gift of life. Love shall be pure in our life. It will help our evolution and cosmic purpose of creation. It will maintain us on high levels of grace and glory of life. Love shall, shall save us from wrong and guide our path in life. Love shall forever shine on our way and the light will guide our steps whether we go slow or fast. The light of love shall forever be with us on our way. Love shall forever be the anchor of our life. We shall be in love and love shall be in us. We shall live in love, shall grow in love, and shall find fulfillment in love eternal. Jai Gurudev.